Eyes are my love pepper. And trust me, it hot. So time for me to dig into the block, what did you know? Look at this. Hey, life can't get better than this. Before the fish is finished, you know. Look at this. Nice and golden brown. Anybody hungry yet? Come, come. We have plenty food, you know. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing? I trust that you guys are doing great. So we've been away from this camera for one week and it feels like an entire year. Today we have a few errands to run. We're making a spin dong tong to purchase some paint because we're painting up the house for Christmas, you know. And then we have to make a stop at the border market to grab some vegetables because we want to um, put on a pot of coco for rice. We're about to throw on a pot of coco for rice. I just remember something. I've been craving black pudding for a very, very long time. And I'm gonna ask this man over here to take me to get some by Auntie Zarina. Is Zarina she near? I think so. Yeah. Uh, you gotta see if she's out there. Okay, good. We, we're we gonna make a stop by Auntie Zarina to grab some black pudding. Hopefully, we catch her on time because the lady stopped the sellout in no time. So, if you haven't eaten black pudding in years, we're gonna eat it for you today. So, you guys stay with us on this short video and enjoy. Alright, so we already got our paint from Uncle Harris over there, Harris paint. And now we are heading to the border market. We're currently on Albert Street. We're gonna make a turn on North Road and then head back to Rob Street. It's pretty much early and you know that's why the city is not that busy as yet. It's just about 9.30. Look at this guys, them guys dancing, masquerade. You know it's Christmas when you see bat cow dancing. All right, so here comes Border Market. Gotta get some stuff for the cocoa price, you know. Some nice fresh green seasoning and a few other things. This is what a Saturday in Guyana is looking up like. Fresh as ever. Wow. Alright, we gotta look for coconut, right? To come to the cocoa place. Nice fresh vegetables, man. Watch tomato is six hundred dollar pound tomato price drop. <laughs> hmm. All right, so I'm gonna pick up some of this nice baji to put in my cocoa rice. How you sell this? Three for five. Three for five. All right. All right. Well, I'll take the five hundred dollars. Nice fresh color. 
Look, Auntie, get some nice fine time there. Fresh as ever. Shallot. And um, can I take from here? Or? Hey, how can life get better than this? As fresh as it can get. This two here. And um, I'll take a bag of this seasoning pepper. Two bags. Two bags of seasoning pepper. We're going to cook up rice. You don't want to have one. What? Um, no, I have. Do you have anything like um, celery? Yes, I'll write it. Oh, oh sorry. I didn't see it. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Alright, let's see this uncle get some nice coconuts here. Eh? I gotta get one this coconut to, to the um, cook up rice. Uncle, how is only coconut? Please, please, a big one, no? Great, great it wasn't great Sorry? It's great. Oh, you just grated though? Yeah. Wow! So you can come by this uncle here and yeah. you can get your coconut grated and all of that. Yeah. Hey, life couldn't get easier than that. <laughs> <laughs> so you want it grated or you want it like that? No, just like that. Um, The big one, please. One? Yes. Thank you. Pumpkin look fresh and nice over there by look. Pumpkin and white belly shrimp. With hot hot oil roti. Wow. Delicious guys, delicious. Hi Andy, good morning. Hey Mart man, how is that lip? Three man, the two are good. The two would be fine. The two would be fine and one of this. Two hundred pounds. Yes. So get them a fresh smart man and my prop time to make my cook up rice. I got fine thing. No, I bought that already. Thank you. So this is the busy border market here. Thank you, Auntie. Have a good day. Busy as can be. Nice fresh veggies. Oh, this is my car. <laughs> Six eggs for four hundred dollars. Wow. <laughs> Christmas looking thin there. Yeah, let's buy a PL egg for you. Oh, fourteen hundred and fifteen hundred dollars to take. Hello. Hi. <laughs> We're finished from the market. We're on Church Street. And now we're heading back to East Coast to grab that black pudding that I was telling you guys about, you know. I'm hoping that the auntie's still out there. She will be out there, but the only thing is if she got the stuff that we want. I know, most of the mutton block pudding, the sell <laughs> fast. Alright, but nevertheless, fingers crossed. We're at Better Hope. Approaching Montrose. A lot of big trucks on the road today, man. A lot of construction going on. Yeah, they probably get sun in there. Make the 
this little thorn here. Uh, these are nice on your left. Right at this little purple orange color stand. Black wooden, but I don't know if she have molten black wooden in here. Let me go see. Right. Morning, Auntie. How are you doing? I come for some molten black wooden. You have? Yeah. Oh, good. I've been craving this black wooden for over three weeks now. Yeah. All right. Can I have? Um, can I have two thousand dollars? Guys, are you missing home yet? Look at this black wooden. Yummy, yummy. Sell all this nice chicken put on so too. What kind of juice is this? Mabi and ginger and lemon. Mabi, ginger and lemon. Can I have two of the um give me three of the Mabi? Three of the Mabi and um you want any of the CD in a box? Yes, please. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up my block put in here and then we gotta go pick up some chicken to throw in this cook up rice and then we're gonna head back home. So time for me to dig into the block put in you know. Look at this. Hey life can't get better than this. Alright so let me dig in. Cheers guys. Ravens satisfied. Good. It's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. You don't know, you're going to store a box here. Yes. One last y'all had a nice cold mobby. I can't remember when last I had one of these. One last you had one. Been a while. Help yourself. Let me taste it, see what. And these are not yeti. <laughs> and these are gonna get proper things, man. Cheers. The smile alone says it all. Proper. Home friend, you get a friend down here, no? Oh, Lord, man. I'm gonna beg you for some, like. This is a good meal. I wanna drink it out. <laughs> It tastes real good, trust me. It ain't too sweet, it ain't too sugary. I know some people add a lot of sugar to their mabi, but this anti one is perfect. I know the mabi bar tends to give it a little bitterish taste, but this is not too bitter, it's not too sweet, it's just perfect. Cheers, guys. All right, so this is where we normally pick up our chicken. We normally purchase all our meats from Farm Fresh. So if you guys are looking for fresh halal stuff, please check out Farm Fresh. They do amazing stuff. They cut up, they clean, they roast, you know, all the good things for you. And you can get a lot of stuff here. You can get minced chicken, live chicken. You see liver and gizzard, chicken foot, duck, drumstick, however you want it. They get it full work safe for you, man. Good morning, Auntie. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You see? That's how the Auntie cutting up the meat over there. She gets the full work. Good morning. We are running against time. We are trying to make it home in time so that, you know, we can put on this pot of cocoa rice. But it looks like we are gonna have to throw on that pot of cooker price a little bit late because we still have to go gafkurs on the east coast here to get some other stuff and then head back home so today looks like a late lunch cannot fight it so we gotta do what we gotta do so we're at gafkurs here grabbing some stuff after which, we'll see 
you guys in the kitchen. We're back home in the kitchen. Let me show you the stuff that we'll be using to prepare this cook up. All right. Over here we have a pack of carby rice. We have sweet corn, coconut, chana. I had wanted the fresh chana, but I forgot to soak it last night because I always like using fresh stuff, right? And over here, I have some cook-up seasoning. I have some ginger, chicken, and black pepper seasoning to season up this chicken. Some hot peppers, onion, garlic, seasoning pepper, chicken over here. We gotta clean this up yet. And some celery, mardman, broad thyme, fine thyme. And we have some scallions over here along with some thick leaf callaloo and we have a bunch of lettuce to make some salad so stay with us and let's get this cook up rice started i'm about to go buzz this coconut for my father great because y'all know he's the one that's always great the coconut for the hasa curry and whatever dish we're making with coconut right so It's a big coconut, but the meat inside thin. Alright, good. We're going to let that grate this coconut while we're going to go clean up the chicken and the other season for the cook up. 20 minutes later, we don't peel up the garlic, the onion, clean up all the seasoning. We have a blender full with the seasoning that we clean up. We're going to make a puree out of that and I'm going to show y'all how a doing the cook up rice i forgot to show you guys my beans we had already pre-cooked these we we boil them and we freeze them so that kind of makes life easier right and uh, in the process of cleaning up the callaloo and guys look at this callaloo leaf size look whoa big like my hand palm or more it's more big than my hand palm. And Singh already cleaned up the chicken here for me. He went to pick a lime from the tree to um, wash up this chicken, right? Guys, the place is a little bit messy because we're under some construction. Singh looking for the lime. Look my father over there, looking all shirtless. You wanna show the girls them. Are we chest looking up like? <laughs> Say hi to the viewers, Dad. <laughs> and Sing trying to get a lime from the tree. Oh, look, a huge one there. Right there. The yard is in a mess, guys. So kindly excuse us because we're on the construction. Painting up the house, you know, look. House looking up all nice. And after three months, I finally noticed a tomato from the stream. I promised to go to the plant shop to pick up some something to spray these plants, but I forgot because I had a pack schedule. You see how many blossoms it got and I don't know man, something just eating out all this blossom. Oh, so we found the lime right there. Fresh. Let me see. Fresh. Time for us to season the chicken. So I like season my chicken um, before I Put it into the pot so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put in some oil in the canary to heat up then i'm gonna add in my chicken that i seasoned and let it cook halfway through and then i'm gonna add in the rice after which i'll add in all my necessary ingredients that i want to add let me show you how i'm gonna season the chicken so i made a puree out of all those green seasoning and i'm adding in some of that seasoning to this chicken. I'm gonna give this a mix. Go 
Then I'm gonna add in some black pepper. Adding in some black pepper here. We're making a huge pot of cook up rice because we're sharing food today. I guess some folks are gonna stop by. I'm hoping that they will stop by, but I don't know. We'll see if they can stop by. And then I'm gonna give them workers a taste of the food, too, you know. So here I'm adding in some ginger powder. I'll add some red pepper flakes to this also. Give that a nice stir. And this is two whole chicken, right? Adding in some cash rip. All right. Yeah, that's just for color. And we're not adding any salt to this because most of these seasoning that I use, they have quite a high salt content. So I'm not going to use any salt except for when I'm going to throw salt in the cook up rice, right? This is what our chicken is looking like. Our oil is nice and hot, so time for us to go add in this chicken. us to cook this chicken just halfway through is because the rice still has to boil and we don't want the chicken to mince up or smash up in the pot right so we're just gonna cook this for maybe about 15 minutes or so and then we'll go in with our rice we may need a bigger pot to Throw over all these because this canary I could already see too small with the amount of food we cook in today. Right? It's already bubbling there, you know. Look, look at the goodness there. Time to throw in our rice. As you can see, chicken all the rank water evaporates nicely. So let's get the rice in there. Alright. And this is just how I do my cook up rice guy. I have more than one method that I would use, but today I'm doing it this way. Sometimes I just like, you know, put on a pot with some water and then I add in my seasoning, I cut them up, throw them in, you know, then add in the rice and the beans and all of that and let it just boil up quickly. But other times I do it like this. I'm gonna let this rice for about maybe 10 minutes or so then I'm gonna go in with my green seasoning that I had remaining in the blender after which I'm gonna go in with my coconut milk and the rest of the ingredients time for us to throw in all this goodness it smells good already guys wish you guys were here to smell this While my rice is on the stove still, I'm going to start to wash up this coconut milk. To go inside the pot. I like using the fresh coconut milk. For me, like you get the actual taste of the food when you use the fresh stuff you know i don't like using the pack milk nor the tin milk i have tin milk but i don't like it the milk been sitting in my pantry over <laughs> maybe eight months or more i'm gonna have that add in this coconut milk for me lose that lose i'm trying to get some help guys so we're adding in the coconut milk right now. I 
All right, we gotta make some more of the coconut milk mixture to add in in here. This is how our cook up rice is looking up like. I'm gonna add in some onions and some seasoning peppers to this. Allow this to boil. And I'll also add in a pack of cook up seasoning. I'm adding in one pack of the cook up seasoning. Imagine the beans and gone in here as yet, and look how this canary is filled. I gotta cook this thing in two pots or something. Just one tablespoon, two tablespoons of salt or so. We'll taste it back to see if it needs more salt. Because once we try, we can't take our back, right? When the rice is almost cooked, then we'll add in our beans. Time for us to add in the beans. This is our black eye going in here. Spot full, full boy. Let's see how we can throw this out in two pots. And this is our red beans. We ended up throwing out some of the cook up rice into another canary over there because this one here was too small. So now I still have more stuff to add in into these canaries. So in here I have a bowl of sweet corn. Guys, I love sweet corn so that is why I'm putting in some of these into the cook up rice if you guys have never tried it before i think you can give it a try but this is optional you don't have to do this i just like doing this all right so let me add in these and these corn they boil very fast right so don't have to worry about you know they're gonna take long to cook and all of that after throwing in these corn I'm gonna um, add in the kalaloo when the cook up rice is almost finished. And look how our cook up rice is taking shape, guys. See that? Hey, like we're going to feed the whole village today, or what? Not sure. Good. Hungry. It's time for us to add in some of these chickpeas. Okay, add in some of this kalaloo also. In about five minutes, our cook up rice will be ready. our cook up rice is finished look at how this cook up is looking guys anybody hungry yet come come we have plenty food you know plenty food look one canary finish two canary finish nice all right we're about to go fry some fish to go on top of this so stay tuned guys Look at this. We have some lakanani in here that we're going to fry. And we season it with some garlic, pepper, and ginger, along with a pinch of salt. And we already have our oil over here heating up. So we have fried fish on top of cook up rice and chicken. Just going to slightly dip it in this flour like this. Right, I could see a swallowing the saliva in the back there. Okay, it's just look good. 
I know you're gonna eat beer fried fish. The fried fish is finished, you know. Look at this. Nice and golden brown. So, the forest batch of fry fish is finished. We have a few more to go. We're going to continue doing this until all of it is finished. And then, we're going to have a taste test done. So, a fan of ours got us this hot pepper sauce here from Wakenham Island. And we're about to give this thing a review. It looks really good. Let me see what it says. This is it, guys. It says here, hot love pepper sauce. And it's made with hot pepper, smoked heron. Yes, you heard me right. Smoked heron, olive oil, canola oil, onion, garlic, thyme, sodium benzoate. And it's a product of Trinidad. So, we're gonna give this a shot and let you know how it tastes. I'm sure it will taste really nice because smoke Karen, you make joke with smoke Karen, smoke Karen just tastes real nice. And I think she has some other types that has, you see this X here? That means it's hot. But then she has another one that has two x on it and i don't know if she has another one that has three x but that means it's two times more hotter than this one or it's three times more hotter than this one and i ain't see no contact number on it but i'll have to find out from her so let's try this guys we're gonna get a review on this food now right so I'm taking out some food here for my father and then workers outside. Make sure we get a nice piece of fried fish. Mm. How this plate looking guys? Mm. So we're going to get a review from this workman. Let me see how this food tastes. Sing get two plate with and I get one. Come by, come. Watch out, go on there. Show them where you get it, man. Fried fish, girl. Cook pop and chicken. Hold on, wait. Y'all gotta give this pepper sauce a review. Oh, oh he, he ain't eating pepper sauce. So let me get the review. Look. <laughs> How it, mm. how it smell? Good. Yeah? Alright, stir it up and give them by some this. <laughs> I feel this is scorpion pepper they have in here. Scorpion pepper? It's a Trinidad product. Give them a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No man, it is so hot. <laughs> I'm telling you, bye. Hey, them, this is some good character for me channel, you know, man. They know how to spice up this thing. <laughs> Life can get better. <laughs> oh my god. How the pepper sauce work? It's too hot? It's hot, but go for It's smoke, Karen pepper sauce. Alright, don't try it too much. I know because it's all you can see you. Okay, so a little bit spicy. So the pepper sauce work good. 
How the food work, boss man? Powerful. Hmm. Honey, me salt to the life, eh, buddy. Come, come pass back tonight. I feel it might want to pass back, you know. Yes. I'm gonna send you this video. Send you the video. <laughs> that can get better than this. This fried fish. Hot, hot fried fish. Mm. Tell me what kind of fried fish that is. Lockanani. Lockanani here. Yeah, man. What's in the video? <laughs> Look, the main man. How does food eat that, eh? About to eat for a spoon watch style. Perfect. 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 No complaint at all. No complaint at all. Hey, babe, you can check the fish. I think it's a bun. <laughs> I'm trying to multitask right now. Daddy, this fish here, eh? I already sent it for you a long time and I forgot about it. I think this is snook. You're a fisherman, you would know better. You can know when it's fry? Alright, when he come back, we can find out. If he come back. If this cocoa price tempt him to come back. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we're gonna get somebody else to try this pepper sauce. Y'all know this guy? <laughs> the famous guy, Mr. ARD. We're gonna get him to do a review on this pepper sauce. Oh, oh this? Oh. Not that one, I need the thing there, man. This one? Smell good. Smoke heron pepper sauce. Smoke heron? Yeah. Ah, yeah, it's nice Karen. Smoke Karen. Mm-hmm. Smell good, smell good. Mm -hmm. I think I know that one. Mm. I want to feel another one. All right, so do you think? Yeah, that's actually uh, the spoon. Where are we putting the pepper sauce in top, it? Where are we in? Only one way to find out. <laughs> When you're frying, you're frying. Look, fish there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh. Something missing, you know. Now, now you have to see the goodness there. Eh? Look, your nana. Uh huh. Let's see what I'm gonna hit this spoon of it. I would advise you to go light on that thing. Very light. I stir it up. You got a lot of oil in it. Not like a um, money I need, my castor oil, is not? Or. Okay, Your house had light. I forgot. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. uh -huh. so fish actually they in this pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. So if one day me I keep fast, I think that's for real. <laughs> and my eat can tree. We can't take this pepper sauce. No. Are you in trouble? Mm-hmm. This thing really hot? Mm. And here now, that's just <coughs> times one. Real? I guess. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's very hot. It's tasty. Got a blend with the fish. And we got a blend of the herring fish. But I am a love pepper. And trust me. It's hot. Do you have a little rice that I eat it with? I told you to go and help yourself. Oh, oh, oh. so you had rice. You have rice. Sir, be hang of you. You mm -hmm. can see the other things. The fish one good. It's um, Raj cook it. Oh. I'm going to go it though. <laughs> no, no, it could Cause if I decide, cook it, you would say it nothing cook, is good. It cook crispy. And um, the fish smell like and tastes like fish brown. <laughs> <laughs> fish want anything to do with this fish? Um, I think he catch it, you know. <laughs> Say that much. So fish bro, thank you for this lockanani. Mm -hmm. And Andrea. And Andrea. And A R D. I need. Yes. Oh, yeah, fish. Give me Two fishermen and one fisherwoman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Ryan. and little Ryan, yes. Fish, fish is good. Yeah, Shara? 
KSC. Very hard. Very hard. Trust me. And we have to open it back there. Mm -hmm. There you go, there you go. Probably when people waiting on you for going and empty this spot over here. Let's see. Okay. Look how you cover it down. Like black cake. Bro. Nobody eats it. We already cleaned up that canary over there. Alright. Let's let dig for the meat. Hold on. I'm searching for the meat. Right? Alright, that's enough for me. Can I carry home some? Mm hmm. Yeah. I know Miss Lynch and Selena have nice hassle curry for me when I get home, but I got to taste some of this before. And talking about Selena, she calling me right now. The cook up good though. It's Raj cooking. <laughs> I am done. Can I come back tomorrow? Yes. Thank you. I'll eat this tomorrow. So we're not gonna offer you takeaway service. I'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> Because I have to go home to eat some hassa curry. Great. Whew. It's a shy hat. Cheers. Food wrap up. Couldn't get better than this. Here. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog with me. You saw us run down to town to run a few errands. We came up back on the East Coast. We made a stop at the Black Pudding Stand to taste that tasty Black Pudding that Auntie Serena always have and um if you guys have never tried her stuff as yet be sure to give it a try it's a must try it's worth it guys trust me because her mobby that is on point it's not too sweet it's not too bitter it's perfect trust me you guys try it and let me know back then you saw that i came home back i cook up a pot of cook up rice get some help from my husband we fried some fish give the workers a treat we also got a review on that smoked heron pepper sauce from that fan of ours from wakenham island it was worth the try and it tasted really well i had a taste of it myself and it was very very tasty it was very spicy so if you guys want to try i would suggest you just try times one smoke heron pepper sauce not the two times or three times one i have to ask her for her contact number so in case anybody wants to order they can order directly from her all right so until next time take care and i'll see you guys in another video bye bye for now